Hey everybody, why so Wookie here. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the new Survivor Pass Punk Wave. I'm gonna go through all the different items that you can get from the pass, as well as the challenge missions. So you can see exactly what you can get from the pass, and whether you feel like it's worth picking up. Personally, I think it's quite a good pass, actually. It's better than a lot of the other ones that we've had previously. And there's some quite cool items in there. So let's have a look. So just by unlocking the pass, you'll get the sheer punk top and the punk axe, which is obviously looks very much like an electric guitar, which is pretty cool. Then you can get the punk shorts and the punk boots and get a complete outfit there. Next, there's the bad to the bone top, which is pretty cool. The pants, matching pants. And then you can get the S686 uh, double barrel shotgun skin, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's a, I always quite like the uh, red themed uh, weapons and it's very you know rock and roll as it says on the side there pretty cool then you can get the uh, punk rock shoes which are pretty nice a top the matching pants the pants are pretty cool on those and the head banger emote which is uh, pretty interesting then we've got the uh, Dark Punt Helmet, uh, level 1, which is pretty much plain black, but with that red star on the back. We've got the Serpent Tongue shirt, that's a pretty cool t-shirt. I think I'll probably find myself wearing that under coats and stuff like that. Uh, then you've got the Rebel Jeans, which are also pretty cool. And then you've got the Ready to Rock G36C. It's a very colourful weapon skin on this one. It's quite comic booky actually. And uh, we had some comic book skins with the uh, Vikendi Pass, actually, the Dinosaur Shop one or whatever they were called. Uh, it kind of reminds me of those, but again, very nice. Then you've got the Rebel Mine Boots, red and black colours. Serpent Tongue Jacket, which again, a lot of these items have got graffiti all over them, so very much matching with the theme. And then we've got the uh, Punk Princess Skirt, uh, the dark punk helmet which is level two it's like played on one side and then black on the other side you got the punk princess top and the princess boots to match then you've got the punk princess jacket which is a, a red color again quite bright and then you've got the ready to rock mose in the gun this one, pink, black and white, it's quite a cool color scheme. Not as uh, out there as some of the other skins in this pass, but again, as a subtle skin, it's quite nice. And then you've got the Grim Officer's cap, a new hairstyle, which is like a pink color. The Grim Officer boots. You've got the dark punk level three helmet, which is pretty cool. It's got like a mohawk in spikes and a red visor, which is nice. I'll probably end up using that level three helmet for a bit. Quite a cool one. And then a new other emote. <laughs> That's gonna be a good uh, end of match one, not gonna lie. And you've got the Grim Officer's mask which is like a gas mask, which is pretty cool. You've got the Grim Officer's skirt. Gloves. Oh, they kind of look like bones as well, that's pretty cool. You've got like a, a metal piece over the top, I on this side. That's quite, they're quite detailed, actually. Uh, then you've got the Ready to Rock Mini 14. Again, I really like the red skin, so I'm biased on this one. It also has a car on the side, which is pretty cool. Cool. <clears throat> and then you've got the Grim Officer's uniform. And then finally, when you get to level 50, you also get the Rock and Roll emblem, which can go on your little tag there. And then from 55, you get more G coins, 60. And then finally, level 70, you get the coloured version of the emblem as well, uh, which is pretty good to signify that you did really good in the past. So that's all the uh, different unlocks just to get in up the levels. And then if you go over to the missions, there's challenge missions again. Now, every level on these, you get a bit of G-Coin, and then at certain intervals, you get other items. So at the third interval, you get the Sleep Punk Top, and at the final interval, you get the, the matching pants as well. Uh, so that's everything from the past there. 
Also worth noting that in the test server, there's also a login event as well, where each day you can log in, get 100 BP, and then some are 500. Uh, and then there's also con consecutive awards as well, where you get extra stuff. Uh, I must say that 100 BP <laughs> as a login reward is pretty pathetic when you can't even buy anything with 100 BP. Uh, but if you consecutive awards, and maybe like a thousand, it'd be worth it. But I think all together here, you've only got what 1100, so it's like one random crate. Uh, but I suppose anything for nothing is good, and it's not too bad. But that's it. So that's uh, Survivor Pass Punk Wave, uh, which is coming out with update 16.2. I'll probably be picking up this pass myself and getting a couple of those cool skins. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing to see more. Wookie. Out.